and I'm the founder of You Brand Builder, your personal branding expert. Have you ever been in a situation where people ask you, what is it that you do? Um, and then somehow you feel like a little bit stressed out because what is it that you're going to answer? I mean, when you go to these networking events, like the open coffees, that's why I was thinking about it. Uh, when you go to these networking events, it is obvious that you need to have your answer ready. And, but it's also the case when you go to, a, to your neighbor's uh, barbecue or to your nephew's wedding. So what is it that you do and what's your answer? Possibly your answer might be too short, like I'm a coach, or uh, boring, like I'm a coach. Sorry guys, there's lots of coaches out there, so you need something more interesting. And then uh, it might be too long, you start diving more around. And that's a pity because that way you miss the opportunity possibly to connect with your potential client or your ambassador or a big influencer or whoever. So what a pity is that? You don't want to have that. So I've got three ideas for you um, to keep in mind when the next time you craft your marketing message, your elevator pitch and you bring it to people that are listening to you. So the first one is it's not about you. I mean, you have a particular expertise that you will use in order to help people solve their problems or achieve their ambitions and results. So if that is the case, talk about that. Talk about the, how you can help people solve their problems and achieve their ambitions thanks to your service. So it's about them and not really about you, first one. The second one is bring it in, bring it in an enthusiastic way, bring it in an inspired way. Last weekend, I was talking with a lady at a at a at a barbecue, really, and uh, she was uh, and I was asking, so what is it that you do? And she said there, and she said, oh, I'm into sales. That was it. Into sales. What does that mean, really? But the way she said it was really like it's not interesting. I don't like my job, and please stop asking me questions. Maybe that was not what she wanted to. Um, to say or that was not the image that she wanted to spend upon me but that was really the image that she cast uh, and that's a pity because I didn't feel like asking much more questions because I felt that she was not very happy with the job and, um, and maybe that was not being the case. Anyway, bring it in an enthusiastic, energetic way and the last thing that I would like to suggest is think about a question that you can ask. I mean, you can bring your uh, message or pitch or whatever and then end that with, an, uh, with a question that is related to your service, to your message. I mean, uh, imagine you are a, a weight loss coach and you help business women lose 20 kilos in 20 weeks uh, without them having to go on a diet into the gym. Well, that's an interesting message and you can end your message by saying do you know somebody who might be interested in that? Or is that something that you can relate with? Or whatever. So these kinds of questions uh, you can ask. And the reason is that you keep on the, the momentum going and that you keep the conversation going. But more importantly, that you make them think. You make them think about somebody who might be interested in your services, which means that you make them think about your services. That way they will remember you better, they will remember what it is that you can do and possibly when people ask them what it is that you do, they will be able to repeat it in a proper way. So these three tips I wanted to give you with regards to your marketing message. Now if you want to know more about uh, crafting your story in a compelling way, please do attend our one day live training on December the 13th. It's here in Belgium and whether you're speaking Netherlands, Oele Français or English, I will be there together with a small group of entrepreneurs to help you craft your marketing message and to help you bring it in a confident way face-to-face -face and online. So if you want to know more about that, have a look at youbrandbuilder.com slash your success story and you find all the information you need about crafting your marketing message that will enable you to inspire others to stand out from the crowd and to attract more clients and leads. How great is that? See you soon.